All right, in this video, we're going over the endocrine system and I'm going to try to break it down and make it a little bit easier for people to at least understand kind of how it works. So let's give it a crack. All right, so the endocrine system. This is a definition that I got from one of the books that I teach out of. And it says, it works to regulate functions of the body to maintain homeostasis. Now, every time you see homeostasis, uh, this just means that everything is balanced. That's all that really means. So that, that means that everything is working good. Everything in your body is functioning the way it needs to function for you to stay alive and be healthy. That's all homeostasis means. That means everything is functioning and working like it should be. Now, the endocrine system itself, I like to look at it like a car sensory system. So, you know, when you're driving your car and uh, your air pressure is low or your engine has an issue or you're low on gas, you have these lights on your dashboard, your steering wheel, on your dashboard that tell you like, hey, uh, there's an issue with the car. Maybe you, sh you should check it out and get it corrected so that the car can go back on track and be balanced again so it can work appropriately so you don't jack up your car, right? So that's that. All right. So what does the endocrine system consist of? It consists of glands, hormones, and receptors. I'm not really going to go deep into receptors because this is more of a basic thing that I teach just for basic EMTs. Um, but if you want to look into it, look into it some more. But what you have to understand just to kind of get a just to kind of get a gist of what the endocrine system does is that there are glands and hormones and glands secrete hormones. So that means that glands make hormones and they distribute hormones out, right? So the glands make the hormones and send the hormones out to do what they have to do to keep things balanced in the body. So the way I look at a gland is I look at a gland like it plays two roles. It plays the role of the sensory system that actually warns you when there's an issue. And it also plays the role of the mechanic. And the mechanic is a person who's going to ultimately fix your car to get it balanced, right? And then your hormones. So your hormones themselves are what is like the oil, for example. So let's say that you had a low oil light came on in your car. The gland, aka mechanic, is going to pour the hormone, aka the oil, into your engine so that the engine can work like it should work and you can just keep on about your business and just keep on going. All right, so let's go ahead and assume. So, th this to give you a better idea, I'm going to give you a situation um, of how this works. So, let's say you're just driving around down the street, listening to the baby. And all of a sudden, you see, we'll say that this right here, it's an oil light. We'll see, you see an oil light come on, right? You're like, oh, crap. So you pull over because your sensory system in your car has just told you, hey, there's an issue with your car. Pull over and fix it or check it out so we can correct the situation. Okay. So you pull over and you take your car to a mechanic. So the mechanic, the mechanic is going to look at your car. He already knows that, hey, this car needs more oil. So the gland, being the mechanic that it is, is going to pour the oil into your engine. And the oil is like, a, is like the hormone. It's what's going to ultimately trigger something to occur so it could, so it could be balanced again. Homeostasis, remember? That's the word that means that everything is pretty much working the way it should be working. After that, the gland, aka mechanic, pours the oil into your car. The car is now balanced again because the oil is the hormones that triggers the car to work appropriately again. And you can go back to driving to the music you like. And that's pretty much the way the endocrine system works. So let's go ahead and review one more time, okay? So, again... Its job is to keep homeostasis. In other words, endocrine system, what it does is that it keeps balance in your system so that everything works the way it should be working. All right? And it's like a sensory system that corrects itself.
also if the car, if you're driving down the street, your oil light comes on, you take it to a mechanic. Oh, let me see. Where did it go? Oh, wrong one. You take it to a mechanic. The mechanic is like the gland. So your endocrine system consists of two things, right? Remember? Your glands, which are both like the sensory system and the mechanic, and your hormones, which is the, the air the air that needs to be put in the car or the oil that needs to be replaced or whatever the case may be, right? Whatever the issue it needs, whatever the issue is, is the replacement for that that will fix it or put it back in balance. So the gland being the mechanic will secrete or pour the oil into the engine to keep everything back in balance. And let's see if I can go through a quick example of an actual uh, gland. So your pancreas is found in your abdomen, right? And your pancreas is a gland. So it's a gland. And what a gland is, a gland is any organ that secretes, that secretes or distributes hormones. So if it's giving off hormones and it's an organ, it's considered to be a gland, okay? So, excuse me. So when blood travels through the pancreas via vessels of your body, right? What the pancreas does is that it looks at the amount of glucose in the blood. Glucose, in case you don't know, is sugar. It's just a fancy word for sugar in the blood. So if your glucose levels are too high, the pancreas being the mechanic that it is in the sensory system, so first off, the pancreas is going to sense, is going to sense how much glucose is actually in the bloodstream. All right? So that's the sensory part of your car. So once it senses that there's too much glucose in your blood, now it becomes the mechanic. And as the mechanic... What it's going to do is going to pour or secrete out the hormones, right? So hormones. Well, what the hormones do is that well, the hormone, first of all, is insulin, right? This is this is the hormone. So every hormone does something different, different names, right? So the pancreas, it has detected that there's a, high, there's a high amount of glucose in the bloodstream. So now what it's going to do, it wants to correct that issue because it's a sensory system and a mechanic. So it's going to secrete or, or, this, or pour out insulin. What insulin does is that insulin is like the door to a cell. To you know the cells of your body, your, your organs are made of tissue, tissue are made of cells, and so on. <laughs> So what happens is that the insulin opens the door to the cells to allow glucose, so I'm going to keep on going, glucose to enter the cells in your body. So once the cells enter your body, I mean, once the cells, I'm sorry, once the glucose enters the cell, that glucose is no long, longer inside the blood vessels, right? I mean, it's no longer inside the bloodstream. So your blood glucose level goes down because every, all that glucose has been rushed into the cells of the body. Now the glucose level is normal and the problem is fixed. I'm gonna stop right there. Um, and I might make another video because it's already getting too long, but I'll probably hit this up again one more time. So there might be a part two to this.